what is up crypto nation back with another video and today we are going to be talking about a great great opportunity called uh, bourbon DeFi. um this is another one of the um one of the 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 bubbling uh promising looking like it may be one of the, um, uh, a good promising project on the binance smart chain um as we're used to seeing as far as pancake caramel ape swap etc um these are coming up right now and this is this is the this is the time to to really get uh dug in deep with a few projects very early uh in order to kind of reap the benefits now with caramel swap um this this is the same situation that i found myself in getting involved very early one of the things that you need to look at that I am very impressed with bourbon finance is, um, is their, their devs, their dev team, um, and community, uh, the, the community, uh, frequency, uh, the community is very, very active. They chat a lot. Uh, any questions that you may have, you can always ask them. It will get an answer almost immediately. But before we move on, let's take a minute to thank our sponsors, Bitco Loan, for sponsoring this video and um, being an official uh, channel sponsor as well. Um, if you're interested in Bitco Loan, uh, where you can earn on loaning to individuals, borrowing loans yourself, and or the last one, earn on their token sale. Uh, which is going to end in about 60 days. So this is also a great time to get in early. Um, it is a high risk uh, project as all of crypto is. But once this token sale is done, the, the, the platform is going to have real life. That's what I think, because um, the token is, is really what is going to drive the project. So I think their uh, Bitco loan is in for a good a good ride if they can deliver on um, on their promises. But back to the topic at hand, Burpa Finance. Yeah, like I said, uh, very, very strong dev team. Um, you can check out their Telegram. They're very, very uh, chatty. And uh, the dev usually updates the, uh, the, the Twitter pretty regularly. So be on the lookout for that. And they're always posting up uh, updates right now they're doing the migration from v1 to v2 so they're kind of been letting everybody know uh what's going on and how to get your farms going again and and things like that but again these are all questions that you can ask as well in the telegram and um you're gonna answer to it pretty quickly so i am happy so far with my contribution um they have a tvl like now it's it's low but at the same time this is a this is a fairly new project right fairly new they do have three different token options um that you can choose from <clears throat> let's see if we can find the distillery So, you got the TSB, and your TSB is going to be right here. It's going to be like your mid-shelf bourbon, and you got your RBT, right? <clears throat> and this is going to be... Oh, I'm tripping. I'm sorry. TSB is your top shelf. Sorry. <laughs> TSB is your top shelf. Your RBT is like your mid shelf, which is about nine cents right now. And then you got your your barrel farming uh, or your bourbon farming. I call it barrel, but you got your bourbon farming. That's at one penny right now. Now, the strategy of this, man, again, I don't really do farms, but the strategy that I'm using right now uh, with bourbon is using the distillery obviously and um right now i'm just farming 
the barrel just farming the barrel right now and the plan is to take that barrel as it builds up to take it and buy either rbt or the top shelf you know what i'm saying so uh, you got to look at it in terms of how how you how you what you see is the best profit i think rbt might be the best profitability because it has the best opportunity to come up along with the barrel farming so as i'm feeding this my staked into here into the rbt then i can look at taking that or just holding it and converting some to, to top shelf or just leaving it as it is um, top shelf is pretty high and the reason why i don't really want to touch that is because a the platform is very very early uh, b i don't really know if that's a true value of the top shelf that's just the value they're giving it i don't really know that value it has enough room to be profitable in holding it um but you know in my opinion people are going to be more interested in the barrel farming and in the mid shelf um liquor or bourbon so that's what we're doing right now i have about fifty-seven thousand staked in barrel and at a a modest uh 22 percent uh, earning so you're getting about six and a half a day and I understand why they're doing this right now and I also think that they're they even use a uh, like an anti well thing because I tried several times putting over like four or five um, BNB tokens in here and it just would not let me do it um, at all at once so I had to do it one by one um, so I just kind of got to this point where I was like, you know what? I'm happy with this. Let me just, let me just stay right here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we will see. We'll see um, what it does. But again, you know, I'm going to try to keep continuing to get these projects out here to you guys because, you know, we're trying to, to build up a, uh, like a little ecosphere, man. I'm saying a little, a little ecosphere. Where we kind of bounce ideas off each other and you know this is another opportunity where you can get in really low and enjoy the benefits of the highs the reason why i like this strategy that a lot of people don't understand is getting in at one cent means you can save a bulk of of your of your um of like your binance or your bnb tokens or whatever you're using, whether it's cake or whatever you're using <sighs> to, fur, to fun uh, bourbon, just like we did with Caramel Swap. It lowers your barrier of entry um, when you get in really low. So getting in at one penny means that you can get more tokens um, per dollar. So you know, if you wait till this token goes up to um, six cents, seven cents, ten cents, you're gonna get less tokens per BNB, for example. Getting in now means you'll get a ton of tokens. And as it rises in value, now those tokens are worth more in value. And the second benefit to getting in really low um, and staking is simply because not only do you get a ton of tokens, um, but you can get those farming and uh, staking pretty easily, pretty quickly. And um, the more tokens you have, man, per thousand um, dollars, you know, you're gonna be generating. You know what I mean? But they're setting their thing very low and modest. They're being smart about it. Um, they don't want people coming in just to just to dump. And that's why you can see these modest APRs on here. You know, this could be crazy high, over 100%. I have a feeling that it's going to do that as more and more people get in because it's already gone up um, from last night. But also, I think their strategy is to also is obviously to get people to earn TSB, which is where the APR is and the multiplier is. So that's what they're really, really gunning for people to get. 
So that's why I said farm the barrel, farm maybe some um, some mid shelf, and uh, and see what happens. You know what I mean? See what happens. Um, at nine cents, you're not going to be able to get that much uh, mid shelf, but it could be um, it could be more profitable. Getting these two going together definitely profits putting it into TSB, uh, depending on what you're going to do at TSB. You know, that is, that is completely out of my realm. <laughs> um, again, you need less tokens for the TSB to get per thousand dollars to get, uh, to get this going. This is what's really, really lucrative right now. That, that is pretty good. And that's what's really making me think about just getting at least a thousand in there to see what happens because of how high it is right now. So we may be looking at that very quickly in the future. <laughs> All right, guys, um, we'll be back with some more um, updates on Bourbon DeFi. But again, there is I'm not aware of any um, referral uh, referrals or uh, any kind of codes like that or anything. Uh, so. Uh, this is on your own do your own research see if it's something for you but I guarantee you if you were on the ride with caramel swap in the uh, roughly seven days seven eight days that it took for us to 100 X minimum at a dollar um, then you were in for a treat because these are the types of projects that we like to get into great devs Great community, active community, to me, only leads to um, to me. It really only leads to to a, a, a good a good a, a good time. You know what I mean? A, a damn good time. So uh, last time I checked, there wasn't that many wallet holders either uh, just yet. But these are the projects that I'm telling you, as they start seeing little and little uh, more and more people come in more and more liquidity getting uh getting put in and more and more tvl getting locked um that's when people really try to jump on it like oh shoot <laughs> you just don't want to be too late as in a sense that um you know look at this it's starting to have some movement you know after being really really low did i wish i could, i wish we could have got in right here but it's a-okay you know what i'm saying it's a, it's a-okay um, we just got to keep going, but it's due for another pump. Um, as at least that's what I can see It's due for another pump. Um, we're going to see what happens, but the more and more people that get involved, obviously is the quicker it's going to go up. So yeah, check it out guys. Um, total volume yesterday, 9,000, uh, total liquidity seven. So they are s extremely new telling you when this starts to pop off it's going to pop off and you want to have as many tokens as possible because when that value starts to rise then you can start making more and more decisions about where you're going to be putting these uh rewards are you going to just get out but you know what i mean like it's gonna it's gonna make a huge difference all right huge difference anyways guys catch you in the next one peace